up, everybody? d Rag back at it again with another video on Ready or Not. Today, we're going to be talking about something that they just released on their Twitter. The post on Twitter says, Suspects could be anywhere. Are you prepared? With the hashtags Ready or Not, Games, Tactical Shooter, FPS, SWAT 4, Police, Rainbow Six 3, Cops Coming, Hashtag, and then nothing. Let's start analyzing this, huh? So what's obvious about this picture? Well... It's dark, as is most things that void interactive releases. So I guess I'll start with what's on the left side of the picture and push to the right. I'll even brighten it up for you to make it better for you guys to see. The person that's on the left appears to be a Caucasian male holding an RPD wearing what looks like a turban of some kind. Some have said that he might be a Russian, but we don't know for sure. I can't really tell what he's taking cover behind, but... This guy looks strikingly similar to a leaked character model that I reported on a while ago. Hmm. I wonder what his motives and ideology are. I'm sure we'll find out when we get into this mission. Alright, moving on. Pushing to the right a little, we can see... Dead civilians. More than likely, they were gunned down by this assailant and some of his cronies. And judging by the blood that's on the wall... He probably shot them from that position. To the right of that, it seems like this creates a scene, judging by all the smoke and particle effects. This kind of tells me that the door was blown open and three SWAT officers charged in, expecting to have a fight, but haven't yet fired their weapons because I haven't seen any muzzle flash yet. At the top right, there's a sign that says, Sadistic. It's almost as if the sign is describing the scene in a way. Coincidence? Hmm... Interesting. The way that the text looks on the wall tells me that this is some sort of nightclub. Could this be the anal staircase? I don't know. But the bodies that are on the ground remind me a lot of the scene that we've seen in the original trailer. But I'm still not entirely sure. The rest of the scene is walls, a couple of props, nothing noteworthy aside from them looking dated and not really unkempt. But yeah... That is the picture. One thing to note about this picture though, if anybody remembers, the developer had said that we as players are only going to be able to play as the paramilitary force and SWAT when we're versing each other. And this guy does not look like a paramilitary person. So this tells me that this is co-op mode. But the way that this photo was taken is in a weird spot. This doesn't look like it's in first person. Royans, not sure if I'm saying his name right, shed some light. He says, I took that screenshot from the replay viewer. I replied with, nice, free cam confirmed? And he replies with, only in replays. <gasps> so we can have replays in the game? Oh man, this is gonna be so great for my content. This is like Modern Warfare 3 all over again. This was later restated on their Twitter. I think the last thing that I wanna say about this picture is that I had gotten a weird text that had gone along with it, but that really didn't amount to anything, or at least I didn't find anything. I thought that maybe it would lead to something with Carcosa, but I didn't find anything. I tried Base 64 and it didn't do anything, so. It's on the screen for you to see if you want to just type it in and, you know. And that's that. So I want to thank everybody for coming out to... Wait. What's that? <laughs> Where did that come from? As an appreciation for covering Ready or Not, the developers have awarded me with a picture and, uh, something else. This picture confirms, basically, the character model that I was talking about a little earlier. This picture was definitely taken in first person. We've already seen the gun before in another video, but I believe the attachment is brand new. I don't think we've actually seen this one confirmed yet. I believe this is a micro T1 attachment. Feel free to correct me if I'm wrong, because I usually am. The way that the body looks, it looks like it's been shot, and it has a ragdoll effect, just judging by the legs crossing there. I gotta say that this looks a lot better than the ragdoll effect that we saw in uh, the previous clips that they have on their YouTube channel. And that's all that I have for you today. It is the holiday season, so unfortunately I won't be able to make my usual big long videos for you guys until the holidays are over. I'm going to be spending most of my time with my family, so I want to wish you guys a happy holiday and a happy new year. See you around.